haven't talked about is your current marriage and your current situation. And I think it would be unfair to you to not address that in this space where we're being really open and honest. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be the details of anything, but if you've done all of this work and you've given yourself that grace and you've given yourself that space to grow and you've given yourself permission to love self, right? then what happens when a man gets to the point where they're just like, okay, I'm filing for divorce. Integrity, intact. I, I could never say anything that would just, not honor somebody. That, absolutely. But I can tell you that this has not been a easy journey. Right. Um, I could tell you that I'm saddened. I could mm-hmm. tell you that I'm disappointed. I can tell you that I'm uneasy, Mm. right? But again, like God has put me in a different path and that path is gonna entail for me to take care of myself and to love myself and to be in the best situation that I can thrive as someone who's been through all the things that I've been through. Hey, yo, real quick, shout out to Jeezy, because a lot of y'all be having breakups and going straight to Facebook with it. And, you know, the first thing you want to do is broadcast your hurt and your trauma just to trauma bond with other people on social media. So you got to give it up to Jeezy. If he was hurt, then, you know, he would have definitely said something negative about his ex-wife. But, you know, instead, he silently went divorced and, you know, he still ain't said nothing bad about her. So that just shows a lot of character to me. That means that he's not hurt by the situation. As much as they all be hurt and y'all want to tell other people about it and think it's cool to bash the other party instead of just keeping it moving. It's kind of something you can't explain. Yeah, you can't. The real thing is like, you know, I don't like to fail in anything. Me either. You know, and, I don't want to lose. I don't want to fail. You know, I don't want to fail. Especially when I know what you've poured in. Right. And, you know, as I said across from you, like I can only be responsible for myself. True. You know, and I can only do um, what I can do. Right. And right I can't then. expect someone else to do what I'm doing. But did you go to therapy with her? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Right. So you actually addressed it, right. tried to work through it, mm-hmm. tried to do the work, mm-hmm. and it just was like not happening. You're not right. Well, then you tried. Yeah. I don't know about for you, but for me, it is a switch. Right. And when that switch and, goes off. Is that what off, you, that's, that was your switch? Go on. The, the, yeah. Right. But, you know, I had to to realize for myself that anything that happened in the last, what was it, a year and a half of my right. life, that shouldn't have nothing to do with me. And that's, and that's my that point didn't have of case. anything to do with me. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. And Neil Long had mentioned about uh, pouring in, making an investment. And that's something that a lot of us do, especially men. You know, you invest into a person, you put money into a person, you put time into a person. And when you start to feel like it ain't paying off, then, you know, that's when it's time to leave. But what happens is a lot of y'all pour in so much and invest so much that you just feel like there's just going to be some type of payoff or something's going to change. But I'm here to tell you what's not. And, you know, when you got marriage, not that I've been married or nothing like that. And, you know, if one person's just pouring in more than the other, eventually it's just not going to work out. And, you know, at least Jeezy tried, you know, he tried to do it the right way. He had a kid through marriage and, you know, he tried to make it work and, you know, things didn't work out. You know, he, he did what any respectable man with integrity did. He walked away. And, the, you know, best part about it is he didn't say why he didn't talk crazy about it. Now, will she talk crazy about him? That's yet to be seen. Because if she talks crazy about him, then that's where we know the hurt lies. But other than that, man, Jeezy just dropped a dope album. You know, Double Disc, I Forgive, but I Don't Forget, produced by the Justice League. You know, so he's been doing his thing, dropped his book. You know, it's like, and that's what you do during the breakup. You just got to keep it moving. You got to preoccupy yourself. You got to focus on you. You got to do what you got to do to put your best foot forward. 
and you know a lot of people they get stuck on that other person they don't move on that person moves on you just stay stuck you know Jeezy's doing what you're supposed to be doing in a situation like this and let's hope that she does the same thing you know because she has a platform to speak and of course you know that that's coming and you know if she wants to reveal details that's on her but hey it is what it is but well, anyway i like to know what y'all think about it let me know in the comments and of course if you like the video make sure you like and subscribe